This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. Welcome to the 30th episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. And it's around evening and thankfully, uh, naayos ko yung uh, rig ko just in time for this conversation. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, hmm. Yan. Uh, I have here one of my friends. Uh, I'll call her Bagel. And... Uh, should I mention your name na rin? Oh, go lang. Ayan, right. Okay, Sofia Abigail Sanchez, a.k.a. Bagel. And I mistook, uh, I, I mispronounce her name as Bagel because <laughs> stereotypical Tagala Bisaya narrative. Oh my God. <laughs> Tagala Bisaya narrative. Yes, it's actually true. Now, Bagel is the winner for the student category of the 2018 Nihongo Fiesta, Nihongo Speech Contest. And I got in touch with her again a year after, almost a year after, to tell us, to to share a uh, fruitful discussion. This is just a brief conversation, you know. Uh, I only have like five minutes for this. <laughs> So it's been almost a year since you won the Nihongo Speech Contest. How do you feel? Well, to be frank, ano, wala. Just mm-hmm. normal. Pero feel ko na, ano, parang may nag-improve sa yung pag-communicate ko ng Japanese to, like, other Japanese mm-hmm. people, ganun. May kung mm-hmm. improvement, yun lang. Mm-hmm. Yan, so, kasi, uh, uh, I think the goal of the Nihongo Speech Contest is to uh, improve the communication in Japanese because Japanese in its, on its own is a language that is easy to hear, hard to understand. Easy to, ano, di ba? Papang, gan- Am I correct? Very. Kasi, ganito kasi yun. When you learn Japanese kasi, you have to put your heart and your soul into it. Hindi yung parang half ass ka na mag Matututo. Kasi ako, ano, trigger kasi ako when other people say na learning Japanese is really easy. Kasi, in fact, it's not. Especially when it comes to communication. Kasi, hindi mo alam na nakakabastos ka na pala sa, ano, ibang Japanese people. Kasi, they have, um, yung parang, parang sa ating, ano, para sa mga Pinoy, it's Mm-mm. po and opo, di ba? To make it more polite. Kasi sa kanila, they have, different, parang kegel, song kegel. Mm. Is, 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 is this something like kasi, tatemai versus hone? Like what I learned from Dogen? Parang ganun. Kasi from a few years back, na, ano, teacher ko na parang hindi ako nag-honorific sa kanya. Tapos, di ko alam na binastos ko na pala siya. Then parang ang sama lang tingin mm. sa akin nun. So, ayun nga. Tapos, their writing system lahat lahat tayo alam na they have kanji, hiragana mm-hmm. and katakana, di ba? Um, sa kanji ka talaga mm-hmm. sasabit eh, kasi it's really hard, especially, ano, mm-hmm. yung JLPT. They, they have five levels, N5, N4, N3, N2, N1. N1 being the most difficult and N5 being the most mm-hmm. easy. Well, not really easy, but carry mo as, mm-hmm. ano, as a beginner. So, Yun nga, so, pag mag ka, you have to go through the basics from hiragana and katakana. Tapos, hindi ka pwede diretso-diretso ng kanji kasi kung diretso ka, hindi mo alam kung saan ka sisimula. Hindi, ka, hindi mo rin alam kung mm. paano yan basahin. So, ayun. And then, communication. Kasi ako, pag nagtuturo kasi ako, I'm really strict when it comes to hatsuon or pronunciation because pag mali yung pag ano yung pag pronounce mo medyo it comes off really wrong mm. ayun so when uh, all these things considered nung sinalihan mo yung uh, Nihongo speech contest uh, you really put into your heart yung narrative mo your your uh, how you paano pa to uh, your your the embodiment of your speech tama Oh, syempre kasi pangarap po yung ano yung tinatalk about mm-hmm. ko sa speech na yun. Tsaka ano, to be frank, kay ano, yung pag-translate doon, napatulong pa ako kasi it's a speech eh. Kailangan formal siya, hindi yung pitchy-pitchy lang na kailangan, ano, hindi siya informal kasi 
may ma- yung mga guests doon, mga mm. malalaking tao yun, tapos hindi mo gagawing formal mm. speech na yun, pero parang nakakabastos ka, mm. di ba? Mm-hmm. And uh, really happy na you won that. Although I was there in spirit, I was there in spirit. AKA I, I was not there because I was doing something else. Yan na, yan na nangyayari sa akin these days. Eh. If if it's not my name being brought to different countries, it's it's my spirit. Ko siro magdonate ka ng flash na. Pero moving back to the topic, um, since you've gone through this, what can you tell others who want to join these kinds of contests? Well, for starters, kailangan mong alamin yung topic na ihahala mo doon sa ano, sa stage na yon. Tsaka kung mag magsasalita ka na doon, you have to give it your all. Hindi yung half-ass mm. kang magsasalita doon na parang wala lang, chill-chill mm. lang. Hindi 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 ka mananalo ng ganun. Kasi nung akin, hindi ko inexpect na mananalo ko kasi first of all, parang gala mm. lang yung ano, yung pinunta ko nung Manila kasi ayun nga, hindi ko in-expect na makukuha ako. Tapos, ayun, boom, kuha pala ako. Mm, Tapos, pa wala pa akong practice nun ha. Mm-hmm. On the day pa ako na ano, on the speech pa ako nag-practice, mm-hmm. oo. <laughs> ayun. Basta kung gusto mong sumali, you have to give it your best. Tsaka, ayusin mo yung pronunciation. Oo, oh, oh, eh. no? napakadelikado magulat at that time. Man, especially at, at that crucial time, na you're you're at the stage you're in front of these prestigious people and then they they will judge you and of course some of them will be nitpicky. Na bulula ko na yun na lang na uh, okay so yun na uh, any other activities you you have currently this 2019. Well, after this 2019, actually, I'm going to be voicing in a game which is called Masume. And the, ano tag, the release date, I don't know if, ano, ma, pwede pa to sabihin, but the release date will be on November 1, mm-hmm. I think, 2021. And I will, I will be the Japanese voice actress for that game. It will have two voices in English and Japanese and ako yung Japanese CV. Yeah, mm-hmm. Japanese uh, CV. I think uh, the other Ayan. character voices I can intong who's also Filipino based in America, no? Yeah. Oh, she's here in the Philippines and she lives ah! in Salayan de Oro. Teka, tawagin ko si Sere. Tawagin ko si Sere. Yeah. <laughs> Tag ko si Sere dito <laughs> sa ano. Baka mamaya eh, we can... And of course, uh, having Sarah dito. I think I might have Sarah in uh, the next few episodes. Ayan, pero of uh, ayun, mm-hmm. yun, ano? so Musume is a game. Is this an independent game? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Mm-hmm. So yun na ano, 2020 and uh, it's, it's somehow active sa Twitter no. So uh, looking for yeah 2021 to 2019 2021. So two mm-hmm. years. Ayun ano. Alright, so looking forward mm-hmm. to that. Uh, thank you for kahit kahit maiksi itong oras natin. No? At least I get to get back to you. No? And uh, really, mali pala yung pronunciation ko. I was... Bagel. Diyos ko! Thank you oh, for having oh, me. Thank you, Bagel. That's Sofia Apigil Sanchez. And again, 2018 Nihongo Fiesta, Nihongo Speech Contest winner. Now, currently voicing the character of... Uh, what's the name again? Sorry. Musume. Musume, Musume. in the, in the game. Thank you very much. Keep Thank sense, you. The podcast. I will be visiting one of the biggest pop culture events in Cebu. It's Otaku Fest 2019, and it will be happening on February 23 to 24, Saturday, Sunday, at SM Seaside City Cebu's Maze Garden. It's an outdoor event, just like any other Otaku Fest events that they held. And for the first time, they will be holding this event for two days. So a lot of activities are in store, three of which are the World Cosplay Summit Philippines Cebu Qualifiers, the Pop Culture Hiroshima Philippines Cebu Qualifiers and National Finals, and the One Piece Day, which is a gathering of 
all the One Piece fans, those who are cosplaying characters from One Piece, will be gathering in one venue on the second day of Otaku Fest. It will be a major part of the event as well. And aside from these activities, we also have the Asian Pop Dance Competition, the Japanese Singing Competition, the Artist Alley, the Cosplay Parade, and there will be exhibits as well as a Saber Storm Tournament and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Card Fight Vanguard Tournaments. The guests for this year's event are Team Sekai, that's Seru Santa Ana and Kai Raito, our WCS Philippines 2018 Team Philippines, and also the advisor to the World Cosplay Summit and very popular, Reka. Tickets are available at TicketToMe.net and you can check out the Otaku Fest Facebook page for more information. Keepsakes is a media partner for Otaku Fest 2019. Keepsakes, the podcast. Now we move on to another topic, which is the Crunchyroll Funimation partnership. At this juncture, I have with me Marlo Barcelano, one of my friends. He's with Anime Corner. He's the chairman of the group, and he's handling community relations and uh, organization uh, relations. Am I correct? Yeah, correct. Mostly design. Para in ang specialization ko now. Since we have other department, but pero yun ang napagkasunod ako sa, sa structure mm-hmm. changes now. Right. Uh, okay. Yes. Hi. Congratulations Hello. on uh, still still being there uh, as uh, ACPH. Ano? Although medyo nagkaroon lang kayo ng minor name change around the end of the year. Tama? Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kasi we're on a transition din. So we're na- I'm now consolidating lahat ng mm-hmm. local handle ko. Kasi it makes sense na nga naman, pare-pare sa ginang ko. So, I think for 2019, may mayroong magiging holding sport mm. na lahat na kawa ko within the Philippines. Mm. Laki rin ng ano. So, so, Anime Corner really grow from the Philippines? Mm, technically, yeah. Most of the community side. Kasi online base, it's like 2012. Mm-hmm. Well, online lang din nagsabit ng tayo ko ng Philippines like, kasi para maiba. Eh ngayon from ups and downs na yun it's surprising and everywhere. Hindi lang halata. <laughs> Ayun, uh, medyo medyo muffled ka yung boses uh, yeah. mo no pero can you ano uh, 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 off the record na tong part na to. Can you speak a few words again uh, without ano without getting close to the uh, mouthpiece? Ayan, okay. Ito, okay One na. more. <laughs> ayan, sorry. Kasi ayan. yun nga, nagmumuffle ka dito sa audio ko na. Pero, ayan, five, four. Alright, so, yun, Nana, thank you for that. And again, congratulations for making... F- 2012, no? 2012! Yeah, 2012. 20... 20... 20... 20... 20... 20... 20... 20... 20... 20... 20... 20... Oh, nga, Paano tayo lang? Oo, di ba? Ayan. So, mm, ayan yeah, okay. So, we will now so proceed ayan. to discuss the fun, uh, Crunchyroll Funimation partnership. And to give everyone a background of this, I'll pull up this uh, story from Anime Pilipinas. Of course, uh, 2018 pa to. Since October 2018 pa to na-announce. Uh, na, uh, November 9, Crunchyroll Funimation will have their separate ways and uh, as a result, yung mga mga series na nasa Crunchyroll na under din of Funimation will be put off Funimation. And as uh, this is a mm-hmm. this is an outcome of Sony taking over the majority stake in Funimation and they aim to make it a global sub and dub brand. So, medyo dehado dito si Crunchyroll although they have uh, partnerships with the service High Dive which is uh, partnering with the VRV service na under Elation which is the holding uh, parent company of Crunchyroll. Maraming discussions about this but uh, we have to consider a few things. First, 
Uh, one is that Sony also holds Animax uh, uh, under its division, Sony Pictures Television Networks Asia. And aside from that, recently, Aniplex, which is also under Sony, acquired Mad Men Entertainment's anime arm in Australia. So, big news, big news. And I think Sony's being aggressive this time. Let's mm-hmm. let's think of uh, the possibilities about this. Uh, how about you? What do you think of this? Mm, I think it's Sony's consolidation sa online look at the online streaming market actually kasi dahil sa nag dahil sa mga ibang competitors din like Netflix yeah this so yun Netflix is Amazon Hulu so on so I think Sony is now entering to the anime sub and dub market kasi sobra napansin nila na sobrang lucrative mm-hmm. din yun and napansin nila na, na they have they have the resources, so I think I think it's a it's a smart business move na they want to have the market share. Because usually, the US dominate the US is usually Crunchyroll, which is very crucial. I think even in some European mark market, so much so halos uncontested din sila. I don't I think on those those areas, eh. Kasi except Asia, mm-hmm. wala naman masyado. but malakas din ng US market. Let's say it's one of the uh, high-consuming markets in anime. So, I, so it's a good move na Sony this thinks na they have to take the share. Because they also have a, mar- a market share in anime production, TV like the A1 Pictures. They're writing under. They have some mm-hmm. anime plus. Sony. I, 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 so Aniplex. 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 Aniplex, yeah. and even and, and they also hold the so, you know basically it's Aniplex and then they also hold Fate Grand Order FGO the smartphone game. Yeah, so so talaga ano yun? You know, as a business, na parang market nakikinabang po siya na iti tayo na lang. So I think they're poising, the, they're positioning themselves to launch mm-hmm. globally, siguro. Or at least in some regions like in Australia or baka mm. Asia siguro. Well, Asia, I don't know. But I think they're poising themselves muna sa mm-hmm. Western audience. Before they proceed to the Asian audience. Of course, these are two different cultures, two different... Uh, ano, and aside from these different cultures, marami pang subcultures around the Western and the Asian fandoms. And one of which, of course, the Philippines, of course... Um, at tayo, mahilig tayo manood ng anime online through such streaming sites. No doubt. <laughs> and last mm, last time, no I doubt. talked with J. Melagrito of Anime Pilipinas about the Shonen Jump uh, online service na kaka-establish pa lang this 2019. Or, uh, yeah, it's, it's been established in December 2018, pero it's on full force this 2019. Uh, one thing's for sure... Uh, kung kaya ma, uh, uh, ma one of my theories is that maybe maybe if uh Ani, Aniplex or Sony as a whole or Funimation no uh gets a hold of what the market is here in the Philippines maybe they'll consider na that uh, open up a streaming service like like Funimation now and kasi diba they want a sub and dub brand and people now watch on the inter, uh, on the internet something that the big shot networks haven't fully realized yet as far as I under as far as I understood things. Mm. Actually, yeah. Ito ang kulong sa atin parang we lack legal on the stream. Well, Netflix mm. is there. Actually, even Amazon is there. So, but I, I think it's not lacking kasi uh, a lot of streaming sites has anime na rin eh. Netflix, for example, is there mm. also investing in anime and Amazon so on. So, talagang they're also mm. trying to get the share. Kasi they, they, mm-hmm. they stream everything. So, they wouldn't, the anime is one part, it's a huge part of it. So, they're getting license rights then also mm-hmm. to distribute it worldwide. So, I think Filipinos now has an access to it. Hindi mo, kasi, marami naman sa atin, including myself, may Netflix subscription, well, may nagsistream din talaga kasi it's all there. But some, there are people na nagpiyagsasabay yun. 
nagsasabay yun kasi yun, it's, it's available, it's convenient, mm. it's fast, which is another platform issue na pwede ko i-share ka about sa mm-hmm. mga platforms nila. But, but I think slowly, you, you can have you can ha- you can have a steady rise of availability of Mm-mm. streaming sites Mm-mm. that offers high. Mm-hmm. That's on the optimistic side of things kasi uh, at the current state that we have now, imposible mo pang maakit ang mga tao to uh, subscribe to a streaming service. Uh, is Netflix? Yes, you can convince them because aside from anime, oh, well, culture, uh, yes, yeah. aside, <laughs> kasi di ba Netflix, aside from anime, you have a lot of series. They're really burning money on this. Eh, of course, uh, tayo naman yeah. eh, we want, uh, of course, uh, so for someone like me, I want my things consolidated na into one place para hindi na ako magbabayad ng dag 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 na fees. This happened with Amazon's mm-hmm. anime strike. Na aside, uh, yeah, aside di ba from, from oh, yeah. the Amazon Prime video service, you have to pay an additional to access anime. So parang, Maybe it's business-wise, it's plausible, it's possible, pero to the consumer, it's always unfair na magpapatong ako ng dagdag pa just to watch anime. Actually, yun din ang hassle din sa, ano eh, yun, about sa partnership, yung nag-breakaway, yun talaga ang concern ng fans na they have to pay two services again. Mm-hmm. Kasi it's like, they're different shows, different licenses, so you have to, you have to pay more services. Mm-hmm. Which is, well, so, The, the ideal scenario is a one playing one platform service Mm-mm. which is in you know, a super business it's more of a monopolizing every license that we have pero as a consumer convenient yun Mm-mm. kasi isang bayad eh buka na manonood lahat anything you wish for yun yun ayan ano let me pull up this uh, story from Slash Film I think uh, they have uh, their perspective on this as well ano let me quote Uh, the paragraph let me quote a paragraph uh, from this one ano? to quote from the sto- oh. uh, the story posted by uh, Slash Films writer uh, Hoy Tranboy uh, to quote the death of this partnership feels like a casualty of the streaming wars with media mm-hmm. conglomerates like Warner Media and Apple eager to jumpstart their own streaming services Through their impressive catalogs, small grassroots services like Crunchyroll and on the great uh, K-drama side, Drama Fever will suffer. It's a sad day for anime fans who have been with these services since day one. And uh, but hey, maybe this means mm-hmm. we'll get My Hero Academia on Netflix soon. Quote unquote. End quote. So yeah, no, no. Maybe maybe uh, this uh, puts everything into perspective. Na yun nga, we have to pay stuff, pero at the same time, baka sa baka sabi ni Sony okay we'll put My Hero Academia on Netflix it's I previously it's on Crunchyroll and currently it's on Funimation now and sub and dub as far as I understood so uh, tayo naman di sa Pilipinas wala tayong kamalay malay and hindi naman natin ma-access yung Funimation from the US <laughs> we, we can only access this and uh, I I yeah. think that the least possible way of accessing these kinds of stories is in manga form to Shonen Jump to this because they made their catalog available talaga for every everyone in the ang ang here's uh, uh, aside from the services like this and if you're if you're on the light novel side there's J Novel Club I subscribe once and I was satisfied of course hindi ko masyad, uh, with the time that I have I wish I could read everything I wish I could binge watch where I uh, yeah diba yun, 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 time is of the essence it's already it's it's it's, it's always the enemy aside from money and the time yeah well it's platform mm-hmm. and, uh, lang dyan is licensing who owns the license yun ang banan dyan eh. yes it's, well it's more of a casualty of the streaming wars it's technique it's well in the first place the streaming wars is more it's a battle of acquiring the most license from all that in addition to show the shows that you want. So, talagang, it's more acquisition of rights. So, talagang, there is a get time. I read who was the most streaming company of the best shows. Na, uh, the partnership in the begin, to begin with is more of 
eh, CISO of na sinabi na ulit, this is they, they gonna try to work together. Then all of a sudden, Sony acquires Sony Animation, and then sinabi na, teka lang, parang medyo lugi ata tayo siyang pare. So, eh, knowing Sony's resources na, oh, they, they, they have things for, they have a lot of advantage, so, so they're making the decision na, syempre, is business interest talaga. But I think, na knowing how Crunchyroll runs its own is pretty much favorable na I think Sony will focus it on the streaming itself while Crunchyroll expands on its own catalog. Because from this partner- partnership, they have appeared especially especially My Hero Academia. It's under Funimation, pero they really are tanking it eh. But that's, that's all now. Another thing is, you know, due to that then, Crunchyroll has focused on social media presence. As you can see, the influencers, the fake sponsors, while Funimation has a different, well, slow approach. Mm. Right. So I uh you know um I'll cut you with that again and you know? in to to summarize uh, uh what you've said earlier it's more of that first is uh they try to have a ceasefire and then hindi nag work and then of course they want to aggressively expand uh against each other uh moving on for the Filipinos ang masasabi lang natin is that we're still suffering tama Well it's Actually, we're more of a gray area na kasi mm-hmm. this thing, it doesn't evolve our region eh. Kasi may irang Agrimax dyan, may or Aniplus or so on. De, dun tayo eh. Yun ang, sila yung may hawak na license fee to show the shows that you're showing here. Basically, ganoon. I don't know how would put, they would position here unless Animax would undergo a very dramatic shift from TV to or or anong match or or or, or baka isang third party ang mag-dominate. Kasi, pansin ko, Animax now, well, eh, they're showing sub subtitles eh. Mm-hmm. Diba? Mm. I, I think bata ko, ay, puro dubs lahat, halos lahat. Uh-huh. Eh. Then, recently, they're so going sub so and so on. Eh, mga I think in the Filipino sense, it's more like we're more relaxed. Because number one, it's a, it's a very different market. In my in my opinion, number two, we iba ang may hawak na license natin to to publish shows. I think it's it's different compared to US, you know. Pero maybe I think I. I think you can feel this or not, pero may presence is Sony Pictures dito, which is, yeah, through Animax. So, I think it would, through their posturing, I think they would have to move something on the streaming side of platform or different. Or if if any case, they, they will move. Some, they have some sort of movement. It's a global re-strategizing about the streaming, you see, through the acquisitions nga. Hindi naman mag acquire for nothing. So, then it, so I think they're ha- we're having a global initiative na to spread their own streaming, their own services as their own brand. And I think Sony would have a huge advantage of it. We're open to the possibility na Animax will have its own streaming service, tama? In the Philippines. Or any, anything similar, or any Sony platform, mukha. Mm. Right, kasi currently, ang streaming platform ni Sony dito, it's either PlayStation Music, Spotify, or something else. Yeah. So, I think, mukha nga, eh. pero uh, other, it's either yun, or uh, they would let some, they would let Netflix or uh, Netflix for me, kasi mas, mas patok sa Netflix dito eh. Mm. Ayan. So, mukhang Netflix would take the share. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Netflix possible, really possible, and I think it has a 
60 to 70 percent chance of that ano pero uh, for that ano since uh, we're already out of time I wish I could continue this but uh, I may, maybe we'll continue this in person ano since the right. internet is really lagging na, uh, at this time ano uh, very unfortunate Recorded. pero kuwaka recorded na nung so debate siya hmm day day to day to tayo recorded ba to ah of course there will be just edits uh, nito ano Ah, uh, wala kasi. Ano ni Mark Deep pa. May ka ng OJ. we'll close the discussion ano. Uh-huh. Right. So with that said, thank you very much Marlo Bar- uh, Marlo Barcelano of Anime Corner here in the Philippines. And looking forward for future discussions like this in the future. Bye. <laughs> That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. New episodes can be heard on anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. You can follow me on Twitter at jagonoy. More updates will be posted on facebook.com slash keepsakes by Jay. Leave your voice messages using the Anchor app available on Google Play and the App Store. Shout out to Lee Rose Bear for the music. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.